Hello guys, Dennis here and welcome back to another episode of Tectum. This episode was supposed to come out yesterday, uh, and since I didn't do any prog real progress in this video, I thought I can, I can reshoot it to, to make it kind of fit a bit better uh, with dates and that kind of stuff. Uh, I, I, just, just a little bit of a thought, you know. I, I can't jump that. Why, why can't? Why can't I jump that? <laughs> Tricked ya. So this, my good. Oh, I can't find that. It's so frustrating. There we go. This is episode twenty-five, and. With episode 25 comes a world tour, and I have forgotten to do one very important thing for this video. Okay, we are back and we are playing with shaders this episode, because I thought we could take a little bit of a look and see how things work with it. So this area is where you're going to be spawning. Uh, the name uh, the name here is Vela, and I may be continuing to build a little bit around here, uh, perhaps having a couple more ruin, ruin buildings, uh, buildings and ruins, uh, that kind of stuff, uh, with the uh, stones kind of uh, falled out on the side of it, and uh, that kind of stuff. I think that could be cool. Uh, so, there's stones laying around uh, the building all over because uh, it, it was supposed to be a little bit of a temple, a little bit of uh, area where they would save their um, their food, that kind of stuff. Uh, it, that That is this building. Was. Uh, and then it just fallen apart as time has gone. Uh, it's, a, it's a few thousand years ago, you know, so the house isn't... <laughs> Uh, it may even be a bit too much that's still standing, but some structures were uh, good, you know? And the next area we are going to take a look at is the town we really started to build. The village we uh, worked on in the beginning of the series, uh, where we lived, uh, started to prosper, we... Um, Killed the Ender Dragon while we were living there, that kind of stuff. And uh, that town is Pario. Now the road isn't finished. I'm going to go in and make the road and try to make it look as good as possible. Uh, because I, I want this world to be beautiful. And um, having a, just a random grass road, basically. Basically, the whole way is not good enough. I want the road design that I have up here on the whole thing. But I need to gather the resources to do that. Um, like, I've used jungle wood, I've used uh, coarse dirt, I've used brown wool, I've used um, brown concrete powder and that kind of stuff. And there's also one more material I want in the ground, which I don't have access to yet, I need to find it. And that is Podzol. Podzol, I think, is a great path block. It looks amazing. And this is Pario. And I didn't realize it was this late. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and take a sleep, and then we're gonna take a look around here. Because, um... I don't want monsters to spawn <laughs> around here and possibly destroying our stuff. That would be bad. That would be really bad. Um, so let us quickly get asleep. And there we go. And the resource pa- May not rest now. What are you talking about? There we go. Um, the resource pack we are using is Wells Knight's Resource pack, texture pack, and whatever you want to call it. Uh, and it works surprisingly well with um, with shaders. I like that. Oh, a uh, oh, little bit of lag spikes there. 
This is one of the reasons I don't usually play with um, shaders, because it's so uh, RAM-consuming. Uh, RAM that I don't really have. But uh, special episodes I think is fine. Um, these three houses right here, uh, these are just decorational buildings. They don't have any purpose at all. I just wanted to kind of make the um, area a bit more habitable. Uh, make it look like people are actually living here. Uh, so let us start looking at another building and then work our way down. Uh, so I'm going to start up here. And we're going to go uh, downwards. And if you guys, by the way, want me to put up a world download, download. Oh, wait, what? No, uh, stop. Let me know and I will put up a world download. So this is my uh, villager um, breeding area. Which I am going to change up. We are going to get something else. And make it a bit easier for us to... Make use of it. Because um, I had... A few villagers. Who has sadly... Oh, mostly despawned. Most of them are gone. And uh, that is sad. So I kind of need to get to work. And fix this area. I've lost, let's see, I've at least lost five villagers, not counting the ones I lost here early on. Um, and the reason I wanted something like this is because um, in this world, I, I am not allowed to use um, an enchantment table. So I had to find some other way to do it. And you saw this building, and yeah, this is where we lived, we stored our gobs and that kind of stuff. And nothing special inside of it. And then we have the last building in this area. And that is... Oh, can, can you stop it? Oh wow, closing a few programs made it lag a bit more. Good job. Um, this is our nether portal room. Oh, and uh, I think it is pretty awesome. I love this. And uh, yeah, I just love it. So we are going to go ahead and take a look at the very small nether hub I have. It's... It's nothing special, but it's at least something. And I just wanted something that's a bit overgrown. I may change out... Oh, can you stop it? Thank you. I may change out the wood. Um, because, why not? And if we follow this uh, nether tunnel for quite some time, uh, we will reach a little bit of something special and we are gonna take a look at that little little something special because oh wait what no we have uh something that i needed help building down in this way and i booted up the world on my realm uh, pj pajama bottoms logged on in and he helps me finish the project. Uh, I just want to kind of check if maybe we have a few good stuff in here. Oh, I definitely want some of these guys. And these guys. Perfect. Uh, don't think we need anything. Oh, we, can we can take that one. I'm sorry. I am... Um, I should have fixed, uh, should have done that before this video, but it's fine. And now, if you are uh, familiar with the end, 
I love, I love how the sky changes in the end with shaders. I think this looks a whole lot better for uh, the end than the static sky, in my opinion. Uh, so, if we go down this way, if you're familiar with the end, um, what you're about to see should be familiar. So let us jump down into it. And here we have the end render. This world has an end render. That is pretty awesome in my opinion. And uh, again, thank you so much, Mr. Pajama, for helping me getting this running. And it's it works pretty uh, easily. Like, um, if you can get most of them angry with you, and kind of drag them into the, this one corner and just start punching. You are gonna get a whole lot of experience points. And the way it works, uh, if you are not familiar with... Um, with any of this, uh, you use a Endermite uh, to uh, lure them into the edge where they will fall down and um, get ready to be killed off. So that is pretty pretty awesome. It's um, the Endermite will aggro them and that kind of stuff. So it's pretty awesome. I, I love this one. It's a really nice way of getting your stuff repaired. Just want to get my couple of stuff here a bit more repaired since we're first here. It's not something that I go and find every single day. Uh, like, I don't go here every, every day. But I do go here from time to time to kind of repair my stuff because um, all of my tools has mending and although my armor doesn't, I should change that. I have a few mending books uh, I can use. Oh, come on. There we go. And... Why are, why are you down there? Go away. Come here. Good boys. And just there and there. Okay, good. Now we can throw this one back on and we are gonna fly back and get to the overworld. Uh, I do not see the ground. I don't see anything. This is kind of uh, dangerous. There we go. It's going up and... We are going up as well. I love how their eyes are uh, lighting pink. There we go. Now we're back in Pario, which is uh, Latin for spawn, basically. Uh, and we are gonna go from here, and we are gonna go to a little bit of a road. I think this is gonna be a shorter episode than usual, because it's not a big world, not a whole lot to show yet, uh, but ow. when there is a bit more to show, uh, um, we're gonna do a new world tour and that kind of stuff. And here we go, here is the road. This road um, is going to be connected to Pario with a bridge, so I, I just need to uh, work a bit more on it. But we do have a nether portal to all of, uh, to both Pario and to Lana. And Lana is so far my favorite area on the world. I have been working so much on it and I am far from done, but I am going to take a break from Lana and um, work on another area which isn't going to be as time consuming and we are gonna come back here. 
but look at this. I think this is really awesome. I love that building. I love the tower. I love this one. I love the wall. Let, let's take a look at the wall here. Because I think it's really awesome. It's... Yeah, I love this. Uh, we have uh, uh, stone bricks. We have cobblestone. Cobblestone. Uh, oak do uh, fence door. Um, iron bars. That is smooth granite. And then we have dark oak wood. And glowstone is going to be on every se every second segment. So the next segment that is going to get a glowstone is this one. And then this one is going to get some. And then the segment that's going to go here is going to get glowstone as well. And it's actually nighttime. And we're, we're going to take a quick look around inside of Lana as well. 15 minutes. We've been going for 15 minutes. That's kind of awesome. Uh, so we are going to take a quick look. No, uh, not a quick look. We're going to take a quick sleep. That's what I meant to say. And, uh... And then, we're going to take a quick look around in Lana. Because this area, I love it. The only thing I don't love so far about this is the cow's pen. This is not good. This is not good at all. I need to fix it up. Uh, then we have the sheep area right here. Because Lana... is mostly trading wool. With all the other uh, holes, all the other um, towns, villagers, Lana is where the wool is gonna come from. Uh, except for maybe another town which is going to have a bit different kind of sheep farm, um, just to kind of make it easier for me to get the color that I want to have. Because this is not a very effective way of doing it. I'm going to color all of these guys white. So that they fit a bit better in with being sheeps. Uh, I colored them to kind of get color for the end render. And uh, after that, we have this building. Which isn't uh, a lore kind of building. It's just my storage area. I, I love this. Although, I am may go maybe going to change it up a little bit. Um, and we're also going to have another section of storage upside here, up on top. Uh, just to kind of have a bit more uh, chests and not being afraid of running out of space. Because uh, I'm starting to worry. Uh, like, here we have... Uh, Half a double chest alongside of two purple and uh, two shulker boxes full of dark oak wood. That is pretty much wood. That's just my sleeping area. Um, here is the map of the area. It's uh, starting to uh, become a little bit of something. And we're going to have a map up on top here as well. Because right where the water is going to go over here, there's going to be docks. Uh, so, that is kind of cool. And then we have up top here. So, this building is the blacksmith. Uh, this is where we kind of uh, melt down all, all of our good stuff from uh, mining sessions and that kind of stuff. I, I've, I've been using it quite a lot. Um, we've been using... Oh, no, stop. Please. Thank you. Whew. We've been using blo uh, block of coal instead of just coal because... Oh, come on. Maybe we can save a little bit on that, on it, you know? And this is the nether portal house. It's nothing special. This is the sugar inn. Oh, come on. Oh, really? You really need to lag? Stop it. Okay, come on. And uh, the sugar inn is... Oh. Okay. Uh... Not quite sure what happened there, uh, but I started to get lots of graphical uh, glitches, and that it was really weird. 
so the sugar can and the sugar in is basically just gonna be a building to cover up the sugarcane farm <laughs> um, which we have down here it's uh, really awesome I made it myself um, except for the floor design which I stole from um, Wells Knight but the other is a observer right there connected to slime blocks which is going to push uh, the sugar canes into a flowing water uh, which leads all the sugar canes into one item elevator which brings them up to the surface uh, it's not a fancy item elevator it's a uh, I think it's droppers which shoots into each other uh, it does its job but it's nothing fancy it's nothing special and this is gonna be the general good store for now, it's nothing in here. Last episode, we, we um, built the walls of it and uh, kind of decided what it was going to be. And I decided... A... General Goods Store. I love the ceiling which I built on it. I, I did that in between videos because... I wanted, I wanted it... I, um, I wanted the ceiling to be on it before the wall tour. And this is just... Just a simple house. A house where you can just live. I'm going to set in a few beds and put on a floor because I want the houses to be habitable. Uh, and that, I think, is it. No. There's one more building here. This one. Which is the item elevator, which I were talking about. It goes up here. Pushes uh, the sugarcane into flowing water up here, which uh, goes into hoppers, which goes into a couple of chests, which is here. Right now it's empty though, but you know, it does its job slowly, but it does the job, and that's the most important part. So, with that, I think we are done for today. Um, because there's n really nothing else to look at, the tower is just Hello, there's nothing in here, and um, it looks like a new floor on this building, but there's it, it's empty. It's there's nothing in there uh, except for my bedroom, and uh, I think that's it. We haven't been building anything else. Um, I am going to expand the world even more the next 50 or so episodes, and uh, we may not even be staying too much in Lana than the next 25 episodes. Just because I want to build out the world, uh, I want the world to be bigger, I don't want to be stuck in one area. Which I've kind of been for about um, the last 15 episodes. We have mostly been staying here. Um, and I, I don't want that to be a thing that we are spending so much time in one area, so I need to build the road. I uh, We have lots of projects that is going right now. Like we have Lana, we have the roads. Uh, we have maybe a bit more over at Vela, the beginning area. Uh, and, uh, or this, where you are going to spawn in. And um, I, I have a few things I want to do in the nether. Uh, like I want, I want to make the tunnels look good. I don't want them to just be tunnels, I want them to actually look good and be fast to get through them. Uh, so, with that, I think that we are done for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to, ha uh, don't forget to have an awesome day. <laughs> don't forget to hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And now... Now you have my permission to have a, have an awesome day, and um, other than that, stay awesome.